Hi everyone, this is Triple Valve Metro Camel. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Um, just want to say thanks very much for joining me and also please do feel free to subscribe and comment at the end of this video. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so as mentioned, uh, I've got something really unique to show you and uh, it's literally made out of junk, literally, that I've got in my uh, bits and pieces box that uh, literally was sitting there doing nothing. So I decided to use them to good use and make something uh, very unique and very uh, eye-catching. So I'm in the kitchen again today because I thought the video lighting was better for the last video and I noticed a few comments that uh, preferred the lighting to, to my other videos. Unfortunately, I've only got a Sony, uh, old-fashioned Sony Handycam. So my camera isn't HD um, compatible or up to spec. So I do apologise to any of my videos in the past that are not too bright. I'm doing my best at the moment to try and improve that um, with some external lighting if I need to do. But hopefully most of my videos or how-tos I can at least try and do um, in the kitchen maybe if I can get to... Uh, get the kitchen before somebody else does. Anyway, so on to the video. So as mentioned, I had a load of bits and pieces in my uh, scrap box um, today, and they included a load and load and load and load and load of coffee stirrers. Now, if you ever go to Starbucks or Costa Coffee, or any um, coffee outlet, and you get those skinny wooden sticks that you stir your coffee with, um, don't throw them away, because they have a million and one modeling potentials. Uh, if you'll see from my previous videos or from your own previous experience, these are really handy and they're great um, double O scale size planks, uh, boards, you name it, you can do loads of things with it. So I chose to put mine to good use today, along with a single sheet of Will's um, cobblestone sheet that I had left going in the box, and basically some letters from Slater's plastic card that I had from my old layout that I thought I threw out, but were still in the packaging, so they went to good use. Anyway, without further ado, um, we've got a very unusual business that has now set up in, pr in property and in terms of uh, practice on Bentley Park. Much to the annoyance of the local residents, there is a current campaign with the town hall to remove these people from business, but I think they're here to stay. Anyway, I'll show you what exactly they're on about. It's this, made from scratch. So, Harold and Albert and Hercules have ventured forth from Old Drum Lane, Shepherd's Bush, West London, and have now set up in the country suburbs towards Cambridge in their new <laughs> place of totting. So there we go. Um, this was basically done from um, coffee stirrers, as mentioned. And all I did was, as you can see along here, I've just taken a single coffee stirrer, used that as a guide, and then cut a load of um, the stirrers to different lengths, random lengths by the way. They're not all uniformed in height, which gives a very scruffy, very um, untidy appearance, which was what I wanted basically. And pretty much done the same all the way around. And built like a little box. Um, the base of it, all I've done, I found some of the, the backing board, furniture backing board in the cupboard again. And it literally, it was cut to size. I didn't even have to cut it or measure it, it was bang on. So. That's our base for the diorama, and literally the majority of it is coffee stirrers. Took me a little while to do today, but I've done that. And as you can see, I've used a, a single sheet of Will's cobblestone, which has been weathered with Real Match uh, black. Let's bring this in and show you. So we've got the stable where Hercules lives complete with uh, a private privy outside, which I'm sure Albert's hiding in there reading his newspaper. You dirty little bleeder. Um, also, in, uh, in this area here, I'm going to put some static grass at some point and glue that in place and then paint it yellow to simulate straw. So I think that might be a good idea. Um, the scrap pile at the back here, I want to show you this. This is really dead easy to do, guys. Um, basically, I've got a rubber band in there an old chimney pot from a Hornby pub and the long pipes all they are is just bits and pieces off a modeling kit sprue you know when you build a modeling kit and you cut the bits off the sprues and you're left with the framework basically all I did was take some of that cut it to length trim it up a little bit and then just give it a general coat of rail match dark rust and I've also got some ratio uh, water tank 
bits and pieces in there that I've cut into sheets and let's put those in the bottom as well. I'll try and bring this in and show that, hopefully blurring it too much. There we go. There's even an old wheel there. This all came from a ratio water tower kit that I didn't use. And that in the corner there, that's a raw plug. Again, with the end cut off. I just weathered up with some dark rust from rail match. Um, that's pretty much it in terms of junk. I haven't finished yet because I've got to get some things like oil drums and some car tyres and bits and pieces there. But I will get around to doing that. The actual sign at the back there, as you can see, that was what I used from some Slater's plastic card lettering that I had in my bits and pieces box as mentioned. Um, just stuck that on there and then once it was dry I then went over it with some uh, sleep grime and some dark rust and a little bit of matte black thrown in as well. Once the whole thing was then dry I then just buff it over very lightly with some sandpaper and uh, I've got a little sign there. The hardest thing to do on, on this kit, let me just show you the entrance gates there. Again these by the way, are just um, two, these two bits here. Um, this bit here, and that bit there. That's just a separately built section there, which I had to put to put in there and just match up with these two side walls. So I've got two little gate post sections. That one's just built there, and that one's there. Obviously, two separate things I've built. But these corrugated iron gates, they uh, they got stolen from the loading bay dock <laughs> that I built recently. Um, they came with the loading bay and I saw them on there today and I thought well do I waste money and and send out for more wheel scenic material some corrugated iron sheets or just do I just take the two bits from the loading dock that the right size all I really need was that and that's it so I've saved money there and um, used them for the front entrance gates uh, as mentioned the hardest thing to do in this kit um, well this diorama should I say the hardest fiddliest thing was writing the crude step down sun name on the gate there. And that took me quite a while to do tonight with a very, very fine brush and just dabbing it on there literally dab by dab with the letters. We've got a small space to work in. Obviously, it took ages to do, but I don't think it looks too bad. And again, the, the correct 26A address on there as well. And oh dear, it looks like Hercules has been a bit untidy in the yard there as well. Oh dear, oh dear. Here, dirty little bleeder. Arrow. <laughs> um. Oh my God! The bleeding horse has done it all over the yard. Dirty little bleeder. <laughs> right. So enough of that. Um, as you can see, that's just a bit of um, brown paint, obviously put on there to simulate a little bit of horse muck. And I had some of these fire buckets as well, left over from a signal box kit. That one on the wall. To give Hercules his uh, bucket of water, and the little actual stable unit I built. All this is really, it's just um, some wheels, brick sheets. I had tons left over from when I built the upper extension of the high street and the bridge arches. So loads that going. So I'll just put that together, cut it to size, and just weld it up as well. The little private privy outside with the little hole in there to peep through. <laughs> Or peep out of which way you want to put it. Uh, what else? Yeah, just wait just to dry. This the whole thing's dry, but the, I've put some glue along here just to some, put some static grass, mix with some blended turf, just there. Uh, where else did I put it? Uh, yeah, a bit along there, and also on the front gates there. Also a little bit of moss growing on the pretty roof and on the stable roof there. And the great, I'm really getting to like what you can do on the computer with uh, PaintShop Pro and stuff like uh, Windows Office because you can make your own labels and signs and hey presto, it had to be done. You couldn't finish a step toe and sign diorama without having the correct name. So here we go. So I'm sure there's, if there's any step toe and some fans out there, I'm sure they would like this tablet on the shelf maybe or I think it's a good idea at least to, I don't know. But I, I think it's cool. I mean, it's not bad for a little bit of scratch building and a good little idea that I've come up with. So there we go. So Bentley Park has now two famous totters that have come all the way from Shepherd's Bush out into the country to enjoy the fresh air and maybe Hercules will do a little bit of grazing somewhere I'm sure. Anyway, a little bit of fun, a little bit of comedy. 
and also a little bit of uh, scratch building going on so I wanted to share that with you today so there we go hope you like it and I'll see you soon ta da for now then you dirty old man Arrow! talk to you soon happy modeling take care thanks for watching bye bye now